In addition to observing wildlife directly, one can observe the footprints, the trackways that they leave behind. Footprints can obviously be left in snow, in mud, in sand, especially in arid and desert environments. And so organisms as diverse as vertebrates to then insects such as the insects here can leave trackways. This is especially of interest when trying to document the presence of animals which are nocturnal. Your odds of seeing them in person are less than the odds of observing uh, their footprints the day after uh, they pass through an area. Although the very first arms and legs of the earliest amphibians had more than five digits, Acanthostega had eight, Ichthyostega had seven, Tularpeton had six, by the early Carboniferous, five fingers and toes was established as the base pattern for land tetrapods. Although five fingers and toes were the standard set uh, for land vertebrates after the beginning of the Carboniferous, obviously this could be modified. So for example, the earliest dinosaurs were bipedal, so they no longer used their hands for locomotion and thus could modify the numbers of fingers, and many lineages did. Um, the meat-eating dinosaurs modified their foot so that three toes pointed forward and one smaller toe pa uh, pointed slightly backwards. Birds, which descended from the meat-eating dinosaurs, have the same pattern. They walk on their toes with their ankle higher up on their leg, and the uh, ancestral bird foot had three toes pointing forward and one toe uh, which was pointing uh, the opposite direction. From this ancestral bird pattern, many lineages have modified this, so that in parrots, two toes face forward. In owls, two toes face forward. In woodpeckers, there are a variety of foot shapes as different species have adapted to grasping tree trunks. Most bird footprints that you might encounter have three toes pointing forward and thus allow you to identify it as a bird since no mammal uh, in our area has this. Um, the hindward toe may not be visible in a footprint depending on its position on the leg. So in turkeys tends not to be, while in crows it is. Other features such as the webbing between toes uh, would make a duck or a goose print identifiable. 